Hello everyone and welcome to The Lad, the channel where we talk about sign painting, design, gold leaf and everything in between. Now it's been a while since my last video and it's been really really good because I've had a chance to go on holiday, decompress, kind of let all the stresses go and uh, have a real think about what I'm doing and what my plans are. A little bit of a different video today as well because I've been trying to catch up and to be honest it's taken me a long time to get back into it. I had a video all sorted out for today, but in exporting it went wrong and a bunch of stuff corrupted so I can't use that, but I do have half of that video, so what I'm going to do instead is just break it up into two parts, so at least there is something today, rather than me leaving it at least another week or so before the whole thing is ready. So, at least you have that, and to be fair, both going to have a lot of information and they're both going to be really useful, but maybe not to the same people. So what I've got at the project at the moment is that I saw some cinema lettering. So you may recognise the signs from what we recognise as cinema signs. So they've got kind of uh, the lettering, but then inside there are light bulbs that make up the rest of the letter, and it just really bright, stands out. I believe you'd probably call them marquee letters as well. And uh, I wanted to paint that pretty much um, bring that kind of effect into lettering and uh, so this first half is me just drawing everything out just to get the proportions right and make sure that the bulbs are in the right spot they're not real bulbs I'm painting them on but bulbs who are in the right spot and so today I'm just going to be showing the section of the video where I'm drawing it up uh, but you're going to find it really useful uh, so stick around and next week I'm going to have the other half ready Thanks. Okay, we're going to start drawing out our cinema style lettering. So I'm going to pick uh, four inch high letters. You know what? Let me get down to that. We'll start it around there. We'll start eight inches down. So four inches after that. Eight inches. Four inches after that. Okay, so carrying on. Eight inches down, and then four inches for our letters. Okay, da, 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 da. so let's do our top line. Our bottom line. Okay, now I know the paper is 28 inches long. Oh, here it is, my tape measure that I should have used a moment ago. So, half of 28 is 14. 14 there. You know what we'll do. 14 there too. Alrighty, and now put a line straight through the middle. And that is our middle line. Right, so now I notice the camera is a little far away, so I've moved it in a little bit. Now for this next bit, you are going to need something with a right angle. Something that's going to enable you to get your letters nice and straight. So, let's get started. First of all, we're going to work from the middle outwards and try and make sure that our lettering's nice and centred on that centre line there. So, for this line of text, we're having cinema there. So, uh, C I N E M A. So let's start our E somewhere around here. Uh, so it's four inches higher. Let's make our letter uh, two and a half inches. Let's chuck that right there. So zero, two and a half, something like that. Let's have a look, see how that is. So we've got our right angle, we're going to place it on our baseline there, and that's the left hand side of the stroke. As far as stroke, uh, 
Well, let's do five eighths thick. And then we're going to do our other side. I can't work that way. Have to flip it over. There you go, you got a nice stroke, uniform straight. There you go, that's the stroke for our E. So now for the vertical strokes, we are going to use a thickness of uh, 9 sixteenths, and that's going to be a slight bit thinner than our standard vertical strokes. So you'll be able to see whether it's straight or not there. Now we've already got the other side of the letter. Let's put that up there now, nice and faint. Because this line we're not going to keep. So let's bring our stroke over. Let's see how that is. Let's just draw that in. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay, nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. Now I'm going to have this the center of here, two and three quarters, so one and there we go. That's our center there. Perfect. Okay. Now our stroke was nine sixteenths, so we're going to put it in the middle of that. You should be able to see whether it is straight or not. And we're not going to go quite to the end with the middle stroke. We're going to go just shy of the end there. Alrighty, there's our E. That looks nice. Probably could have done with moving it a little bit over. C I N M A. Ah, we could make that work. Okay, for the M, I'd probably do around three inches, something like that. How's that? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Bring that up. Let's work our stroke. So our stroke was five eighths for our vertical strokes. Let's bring that over. That's the stroke of the M. It's going to be fairly shallow. It's going to be fairly condensed at that size. You know what? Where is a rubber? Alright, you know what? We're going to just make a note of that. So, instead of three inches, we'll do three and a quarter. How about that? Okay. Five eighths. Stroke. Now we have our stroke, so we're going to be the center of here. So distance there is three and a quarter. So one and a half, one and five eighths. Check the other side. Yep, that's good. That's pretty good. Right, so now with the M, you want to go just slightly over. So it's not quite at the top left hand corner of the letter. We're going to bring that down or up, whatever way you look. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side. What's that 
a little bit. So you know what, let's bring it up. How's that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So now we have our center already on there. So let's lay that there. Just do a little mark there so we know where the center is. Now for this, we're gonna mark, make sure we are at the, at the left hand side of the vertical stroke. Make sure your letter's nice and straight and bring that up there. And the other side. That's not right, is it? Hmm? That's not right, is it? Definitely not straight enough with that one. Let's try that. There we go. Right. That is our M. closer than this gap there's going to be a lot of negative space around the A you know what I think I think I've made a mistake there but hey ho luckily this is just for shits and giggles so you know two and a half but we'll put a mark there too okay So is that going to be... Okay. Yeah, let's set the width of the A at two and a half. So that means one and a quarter. Bring it up. And we're going to do a center line for the A. Now, for the top of the A, you want it to be a little bit thicker than your vertical strokes, but not double thickness. Now our strokes are currently 5 eighths, so let's do 3 quarters of an inch, uh, maybe a little bit more. Oh, do, 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 do. You know, I'm going to mark it down 3 quarters of an inch and we're going to have a look. I think actually that's going to be good. It's one. We go connect these over. That's going to be way too condensed. We're going to take all of that out. Right there we go. Start over fresh slate. Now I don't really, not really too fussed at this mark in the background, it's just for fun. So, move that over. Now I think even two and three quarters might be... Not big enough. You know what? Yeah, let's do two and three quarters then. So, one and three-eighths one and three-eighths okay make another vertical line and we just go back to our previous width which I think was going to be pretty good uh, which was three-quarters of an inch Okay, now we're back where we was a minute ago, but slightly wider. Should have gone with my instincts earlier. Now we connect our lines. There we go. You know what, let's just make that a little tiny bit wider at the top there. Bring that out a bit more. That should be good. 
I'll use the outside lines there. Okay, thickness was 5 eighths, right? Yeah, 5 eighths, so 5 eighths from there is that. 5 eighths from there is that. Now we have our centre line, which still should be the centre. Just make that a bit more marked out there. Okie dokie, so we're going to draw our strokes, make sure this is parallel to our outlet, outer line, and bring that up. Same with the other side, make sure your stroke is nice and straight. And bring that up. It's hard to tell now because of all my bloody lines I've put on there. But I think that should be pretty good. You know what, before I finish that, let's get some of these letters on. If I need to extend that out to make sure that's in the middle, that could work. So, cinema. So this gap's going to have to be fair bit bigger than half an inch because we've got two vertical strokes right next to each other. So you're going to want to visually have a little bit more space to make that work. Okay, so you know what, let's do two and five eighths. That should be pretty good. Let's just draw that up there now. draw another outside line. I just want to line things up quickly. There we go. Right. And so if I had either which would be half an inch and then uh, C has a lot of space, so we do under half an inch. And spring it in quite a bit, so three eighths then. And so the C about two and a half, maybe even two and a quarter. Now let's see if that's going to be in the middle. Fingers crossed. Mr. Lewis losing all the stuff again. Right. <laughs> eight and a half. This is not going to be eight and a half. No, that's eight. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to bring our A out a little bit. So, let's do the N and see if that's going to be alrighty. So, five eights. Five eighths. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Out in a stroke. So now we're just going to connect these over. We want to go from the inside of the right hand stroke to not quite the top of the end. Uh, let's bring that up. There we go. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it, huh? And we're gonna just run a parallel line from the inside of the left hand stroke down parallel to the line we just made. Ends. Right, I obviously Probably one of the easiest letters to do in this particular alphabet. Well, that's that. And that's that. Yeah, that should be alrighty. Does look a little bit thin there, doesn't it? What did I do? Ah, 
Okay, that explains a lot. I did the stroke a bit too thin. That's the line that I should be using. That looks a bit better. I wondered why it looked like there was so much space there. Ah, see, that's why. That's why, huh? Ah, ah, ah. See, I was right. Right, move that. Remove that second line. And the first line there. That's the one. You know, I said the eye would be the easiest. So we want to make sure that that's our line. No, that's not our line. We want to make sure that is our line. So bring that up. That's a lot better. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Uh, there we go. And now we have our eye. So the C, like I said, is going to have a lot of negative space. Not quite that much though. So we're going to start our C there. Now this line is mostly for us to use and we're not going to keep it so we're going to do a little bit more faint than the other lines okie dokie of five oaks on here even though we're not going to draw to that so our top one is not five oaks it is nine sixteenths that's the one nine sixteenths nine sixteenths now we want to have the center of this letter so we want for two and a half in the end one and a quarter would be the center So let's start with this curve here. I'm going to bring our outside, our inside edge, sorry. So now all we got left is the A. Let's work out where the middle is of this space here. And so we've got three and a half, which is that. So we're going to do one and three quarters. And then I am actually going to place the stroke on that halfway point with the stroke underneath that. So, 9 sixteenths because that's the weight of our uh, horizontal strokes. And we're just going to bring that in there and bring that in there. Of course you can straighten them out when it comes to actually painting them. But that looks pretty nice. Cinema. And that's going to be ready for our paint now. 